Hey guys, we'll be here bringing you another narrative Wi-Fi battle. This one's with Chuck Chuckles22 from YouTube, who is one of my favorite battlers and narrators. So uh, I'm really happy he accepted my battle request. I'm going to lead off with a jump buff, go for a sub. He's going to go for the double edge. Um, then I'm just going to switch out and go into my Torkoal, knowing I can take double edges all day. And I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks, because this team can force a lot of switches. Because it... Um, counters a lot of um, physical attackers, special attackers, can just pretty much counter a lot of pokes in the NU environment. So I'm just going to go for an overheat here, see how much damage it can do, and plus I've seen uh, Chuckles, Kangaskhan's before, and I know they have rest. And also we had a battle right before this, where shortly into the battle um, we DC. No one was really winning. I actually think I probably had a bit of a better setup before, but um, and whatever. So we decided to just um, rematch it since it wasn't too far into it. And you guys are seeing what's happening. Nothing really. We're just kind of switching around. He's going to be confused and he's going to actually not hit himself so he gets a chance to roost up which is good for him but I am going to get the toxic on him. He's going to go into Ampharos which is his heal beller. And I'm going to take this opportunity to switch into my Kansas, because I know he's going to go for the heal bell. And I'm going to go for a sub, predicting a switch, probably into Kangaskhan. But he's actually going to stay in and go for the Thunderbolt, which is a good play on his part. So now I'm just going to go for the Sleep Powder, thinking if he stayed in once, he'll probably stay in again to go for another T-Bolt. And if not, it doesn't really matter. He's going to switch now into his Victory Bell, probably predicting a Leap Seed, or just because he can counter this pretty well. I'm going to sub on the switch and go for an aromatherapy, um, which is a good play on my part. Now I'm going to switch out to my special wall, my other special wall. He's going to actually miss two sleep powders in a row there, which is pretty big. Although, if you kind of um, count out the hacks of the match, like, all together, it sort of evens out, because I'm going to miss a toxic later. He's going to get a crit or two. But I mean, that, those sleep powder misses were a pretty big deal for him. I'm not going to say it was game changing or anything like that, because I don't really believe it was. Well, it was game changing, I don't, I don't think it was maybe outcome changing, but whatever. He's going to switch into Afros, I'm going to predict it, go for Confuse Ray, he's going to wake up, go for the T-Ball, it's going to do some pretty heavy damage, just because this is a max physical wall, not special. I'm going to go for the Nightshade, get some Leftovers Recovery. I think I can survive one more um, T-Bolt, so I'm just going to go for the rest. He maybe predicts that, which is a good play on his part. Goes for the Heal Bell. He stays in for some reason. He's confused. He's going to get hit in Confusion. I go to Hypno. I'm just going to go for the Toxic. He's going to hit himself in Confusion, so things are working out pretty um, good right here. He's going to switch into his Kangaskhan because it has Shadow Claw, so it's a good counter to Hypno. I'm gonna. Oh no, it doesn't have um, Shadow Claw. I'm sorry. He said he was gonna put it on after this. But um, he's gonna go for Double Edge. I'm gonna go back into Torkoal because I think it um, walls this thing pretty well. He's gonna go for Headbutt. I'm gonna go just go for an Overheat here so I can force him to rest because I think after he rests, I can probably set him up, set up on him with this Entei. Um, which I actually made this Entei specifically to battle Chuckles with because. I don't know, it's an original moveset. Maybe not that original since it's from Xenon, but the fact that it's not like a Smogan set or anything like that. And, um, I went for the sub first, which was probably a bad move. I should have went for the swagger first, but either way, it's going to work out for me pretty well. I know with swagger, with him rest talking, the odds of him hitting me are really low. Like, uh, I don't know, below 50%. So I predicted him to switch at first, which is why I went for the Fire Fang a while ago before psyching up using Psych Up. But since now I think he's going to stay in, I go for the Psych Up. And after Psych Up, Fire Fang's going to do a shitload. And yeah, I'm just going to be able to go for another Fire Fang to kill. I believe he said he misclicked there and didn't go for a Sleep Talk when he should have. I don't know how much that really would have mattered since the odds of him hitting me are pretty low. But yeah, he went for a counter there. I think he said that was a misclick too. But um, I'm going to miss my Toxic, which kind of sucks. He's going to set up a stockpile. I'm going to heal Bell. He's going to get a crit with Waterfall. Some kind of revenge hacks happening on this Articuno for those Sleep Powder misses. He's going to switch in Ampharos while I go for a Roost. And, um, yeah. 
I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam because this Articuno is actually max HP, max special defense, so I know I can easily live a Thunderbolt, especially since his Ampharos is probably more defensive than offensive, I don't really know. But since it has Heal Bell, I would just kind of guess that. And this is how beastly this Articuno is, Air Freshener. It takes a Stab Fire Blast from a Charizard, who has like over 100 base special attack, I believe. And I'm guessing that he had a special attack investment. But yeah, I survived with 6 HP and was able to revenge kill, well not revenge, but kill with Ice Beam with no attack investment on this Articuno. Special attack investment, rather, but you get it. So yeah, Articuno is just kind of, um... Finishing off his team here, he doesn't really have anything else that can do much damage to it. Um, the reason I went for the Toxic over Ice Beam there is because I wasn't sure what kind of investment this Sable I had, but it doesn't look to have any special defense CVs, so another Ice Beam will be able to kill. So sorry about the hacks for the Sleep Powders there, Chuckles, but it was a really great match, and I'm really glad you accepted my battle request. You're one of my favorite battlers and narrators. And I guess I will see you guys later with my next video, so peace, Yuzu.